Well, we've reported extensively here on the illegal immigration crisis in this country and the support given illegal immigrants by the uh, Catholic Church's Council of Bishops. Now an important new book entitled On the Immorality of Illegal Immigration raises serious questions about the Catholic Church's support of illegal immigration. Joining me now for tonight's face-off debate is the author of the book, Father Patrick Basio, who says a truly Christian moral approach would be to work to end illegal immigration. Good to have you with us, Father. Thanks. Father Thomas Reese, Senior Fellow at the Woodstock Theological Center at Georgetown University, former Editor-in-Chief of the Catholic magazine, America. He supports the Church's position, and it's great to have you with us, Father. Thank you. Let's turn first to uh, Father Basio. You were a you were a parish priest in, a priest in Harlem. Uh, you started working on your book uh, because you were concerned about the impact of illegal immigration within Harlem. Uh, yes, yeah, start out within Harlem, of course. Then I saw when I started getting into it, it expanded all over the place, and a lot of different things besides that. Sure. Now, yeah. why is it, in your judgment, immoral? Because you know that that's quite different from the church's view, at least the Council of Bishops' view. Uh, on illegal immigration. What makes it immoral? Well, the immorality is this. First of all, we're encouraging people to break the law in this country. Right. By, now, in, that's, by that should not, be immoral. You mean by not enforcing uh, border security or immigration no, law? No, no. By, by suggesting mm -hmm. that uh, we should give amnesty uh, to all illegal aliens by suggesting that, uh, well, some priests are uh, even leading marches uh, of illegal immigrants who are demanding uh, something they probably couldn't do in, a, in a, any other nation, that we recognize them and even the lands where they came from and waving their flags and so on. So just, this is only a minor point, but, but encouraging uh, new comments to America to break the law. I think that's immoral. Uh, well, Father, Father Reese, your reaction, I suppose, by uh, Father Basio's definition, Cardinal Mahoney would be uh, acting highly immorally. Well, first of all, the Catholic bishops are not encouraging people to break the law. What the Catholic bishops support is a process for legalization of people who are already in the United States, who have been contributing to their communities, who have been paying taxes, who have children who have been born in the United States, uh, that they have a path towards legalization. Uh, the, and, you know, this is what they have been arguing for and encouraging. They have not been encouraging uh, people to break the law. Uh, but that's one interpretation. I, I think the average American disagrees with that interpretation. Uh, and that interpretation also would include uh, uh, no distinction whatsoever amongst illegal immigrants in this country. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, would you favor at some point, um, for example, uh, I have maintained for some years that there could be no significant, substantive, meaningful, sincere uh, reform or, uh, of immigration laws if we could if this country cannot control immigration itself absolutely and that we cannot control immigration if we do not control our borders absolutely. and our ports I mean, almost everyone in america recognizes that we have a bad shape with our borders as poor as this could be we're bringing in immigrants from nations and by the way in the process further undeveloping undeveloped nations right so it, it, there's really no good side to illegal immigration at all. Uh, Father Reese, your I'm, I'm, I'm judgment? I'm that people well, would defend I, it. As, as I said, the, the U.S. bishops and myself were not in favor of illegal immigration. Mm -hmm. What we'd like to see is a more generous visa policy uh, so that people can get into the country legally in order to get uh, to do the jobs that American uh, business, American agriculture, American, you know, mm -hmm. want them to do. Uh, this, you, is, this is what they have been arguing for. I mean, you know, the bishops are not running buses across the border with illegals in them. This is not what they're mm -hmm. about. They are trying to help these people who are in their communities mm -hmm. to become legal so that we don't have this system of people being uh, illegal sure. and 
and and have a way that they can become legal, become good right. citizens, pay their does, taxes, does, contribute to society. Does does the church though, or the Council of Bishops, Father, make any reference to the fact that we bring more than three million people a year into the United States legally, that we made uh, more than a million people, U.S. citizens, naturalized more than a million immigrants last year as U.S. citizens, that almost half of them were Hispanic. Uh, because you make it sound as if there's some sort of constraint here to do things legally. We had a president running around for eight years saying things like we need a guest worker program. We have 13 of them in this country. Uh, why the duplicity? Why the deceit? Why the obfuscation in this debate rather than clar clarity and transparency, openness and honesty? Well, I would like to see a program that actually worked. I mean, it can take 20 years for someone to get a visa to rejoin their families. Uh, this is just not a system that's working. Uh, what we need is a system that actually works, that uh, allows people to get a visa, come here legally, uh, and allows the, you know, what, 10 million people who are here already, that have been living here, that have children born in the United States. There are 3.1 million children who were born in the United States of people who are here undocumented. They are American citizens. The government is threatening to take their parents away from them and send it back to the country they, they lived in. These are okay, children go with, who are American citizens. You didn't answer a single question I asked, Father, but then again, you're, you're a Jesuit. You can get away with that. <laughs> but, uh, Father. Yes, I'd like, I'd like to comment on a, a false statement that my good brother Priest made, and he's a wonderful guy, I know that. And that is, he made the statement, which I, I'm almost horrified to hear because it's so untrue. But it's part of the, you know, part of the language of, of people right. who hold this view. And that is, he said that Americans are happy to have these people come here to take jobs that they don't want to do. That is totally ridiculous and untrue. We were doing all those jobs long before immigration became a problem with us. Father Basio, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, Father Reese, we thank you for being with us here. Uh, and uh, we hope uh, you will come back and uh, join us soon.